You can't see or smell radon, but it kills an estimated 20,000 people a year in the form of lung cancer. Call 6 Investigates found most Indiana schools are not testing for the carcinogen. Our Kara Kinney spoke with a lung specialist to find out how you can find out if you've been exposed. This is a CT scan of a, a person who does have lung cancer. Dr. Nasser Hanna is a professor and lung specialist at IU School of Medicine. Does radon induced lung cancer look different than a smoker? No. Radon is a radioactive material that comes up through the soil, gets trapped in buildings, and can damage your DNA. It's the number one cause of lung cancer in non-smokers. When do most people find out that they have had lung damage from radon? The vast majority of people have no idea. You're not going to feel ill. There's not some sort of syndrome that's associated with radon. Annie Cacciato found out she had lung cancer after she had trouble getting rid of pneumonia. My doctor sent me to um, a lung specialist, and that was actually the first time I heard the word cancer. Annie is a non-smoker and asked for her former school and workplace to be tested and discovered high levels of radon. The only way to know if it's there is to test for it. It doesn't go away unless you fix it. So what should you do if you discover you've been exposed to high levels? If it's your home, you should fix the problem. But how do you know if your lungs are damaged? I think they should talk to their physicians. They may, they may have other risk factors as well. Your doctor will look at how long you were exposed to radon, which is a factor in assessing the risk for lung cancer. Dr. Hanna recommends asking for a lung CT scan if you're considered high risk, such as if you've smoked and you've been exposed to high levels of radon. It's getting a screening CT just like getting a screening mammogram by itself is not completely without potential problems. There are things that are called false positives. Sadly, many people like Annie don't find out they've been exposed to radon until they've developed lung cancer, which is why it's so important to focus on prevention and testing where you live, work and go to school. It just seems to be this elusive problem that people were very indifferent to. You wouldn't let a fire just go off in your house and leave it burning forever. Tonight on the News at 11, we'll tell you how state lawmakers are taking action when it comes to radon in your child's classroom. It's in response to our investigation that found most schools are not testing for the cancer-causing gas. Kara Kenny, RTV6.